In this lesson we're going to look at the perimeter of different polygons, and polygons are just shapes that have um, a number of sides. Um, but in general when I ask for the perimeter, what am I asking for? Well, the perimeter perimeter of an object is the distance around the object. So in other words, if you were, um, if there you had this triangle, and suppose this is some sort of triangular building, and you went for a walk around the building, the perimeter would be the total distance that you walked. So all we have to do to find the perimeter is just to simply add up all the sides. So P for perimeter is going to equal, in the case of this example, 9 plus 12 plus 15, which we can easily compute by adding them vertically. It doesn't matter what order we put this in as we add vertically. So 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 9 is 16, and 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So we get 36, but always go back and look at the label that is on these distances. So here we have 36 feet, and that is the perimeter of that object. Now we want to find the perimeter of this rectangle down here. So just like in the last example, we're going to add up all the sides. Um, now notice only two of them are labeled. But since this is a rectangle, we can count on the fact that this distance here is the same distance directly across. And if this is 2 feet 6 inches up here, this is also 2 feet 6 inches down here. So we'll just keep that in mind. Um, it's okay that not all of them are labeled because we actually do know what all of the sides are. So I'm going to add up all these sides and notice that I have two types of units, feet and inches. So the way I'm going to go about this is I'm going to add up my feet and inches separately. Now I know I have 2 feet 6 inches here but I also have another 2 feet 6 inches directly across the rectangle so I'll write it down twice and then the same thing with the 1 foot 11 inches. I know I actually have two sides that look like that. So we're going to add these four number, uh, these four measurements up. So let's start with the inches. We have six plus six plus one plus one. So that's going to give me a total of fourteen. I'll carry my one over, add those three, and we get a three. So we have thirty-four inches. And now we add up the feet. So two plus two plus one plus one gives me six feet. Now this is technically correct, but I think we can agree that this is not the best way to um, give the answer to this question. All right? And to see why it's not the best way to write the answer to this question, um, let's talk about, uh, for example, height. Okay? I'm about six feet tall. Now I think we could agree that although it's correct for me to say that I am five feet 12 inches tall. That's correct, but not really proper. You'd say, why would you say 5 feet 12 inches? We know 12 inches is in one foot, and so why not just take away that 12 and add one more to the feet and say 6 feet. All right? We all understand that that's the way I should say my height, not 5 feet 12 inches. So the idea here is if we have more than 12 inches in the inches, Let's convert those over to feet. All right, so over here on the right, let me write out once again my 6 feet 34 inches. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to notice, okay, I've got 
at least 12 inches in this 34. So I'm going to subtract 12 inches from here and at the same time add one foot and see what happens. I know I haven't changed the overall measurement because I took away 12 inches, added one foot. So 34 minus 12 gives me 22 inches. 6 plus 1 gives me 7 feet. So that's a little better, but there's still 12 inches within this 22 inches, so let's subtract one more time. Subtract 12 inches, add one foot, and that looks a lot better because now I've got 10 inches, 8 feet, and that's proper to say 8 feet 10 inches because, of course, you can't convert any more of these inches into feet. So here's our answer. Here's our perimeter. Write it over here. Our perimeter of this rectangle equals 8 feet 10 inches.